Hi there, my name's Jane Anderson. I spent the last 24 years working with people who have either personally branded businesses, so a business that is their name.com, or people who are leaders in their field and trying to establish their name. So I've worked for large organisations as well as mentoring women who have businesses that are, are startups and or those starting to kind of leave their jobs and go out on their own or even those who are already doing really well and need rebranding. So I'm essentially a communications expert and I'm obsessed about helping women grow their practices. I'm obsessed about that business growth and really three things that sit inside that. So one is your personal brand, how you market yourself and how you sell yourself. <laughs> so I was recently working with a lady who was a, uh, a confidence expert and she said, you know, I feel like I'm putting myself out there. I'm doing videos. I've got a social media following and all these people are liking what I'm doing. But she said, um, my problem is I'm not selling anything. <laughs> and she said, I'm really struggling. Like I really don't know where I'm going wrong or, you know, people are saying I need to, you know, do a podcast and now I need to do LinkedIn and I need to have a database and I need to do speaking. And she said, it just feels overwhelming, all this stuff that I'm meant to do. I have no idea where I, where I should start. And she said, um, so I'm actually not doing anything because I just, I'm, I'm frozen. I feel like I'm paralyzed. And so what I find is that most women have this similar problem who are going out of building their own practice under their name.com. And so what I do, I say I'm a little bit like a can opener. And what I do is um, sort of take the top off and unleash all this great stuff that, that you can do and create the communications piece that comes with all that, the brand identity, who you are, the communication and the ability to sell yourself. Uh, so what makes me a little bit different with this is that, uh, so I'm a certified speaker myself. So I speak at a conference most weeks, either internationally or in Australia. I'm a certified coach, so I'm accredited with the ICF, I'm a PCC. Uh, I have my own personally branded business and the journey that I've taken was that this was not comfortable for me at all. I really struggled with my confidence to do this and in fact I've always sat behind the scenes and helped other people build their brands and it wasn't until when I had to do it myself that I really realised just how hard it is to put yourself out there. So I've been on the journey that I'm probably guessing that you might be on in that having to put yourself out there is really hard. Um, but I've since gone on to write four books on the subject, so around personal brand, marketing yourself, being able to sell yourself, particularly on platforms in social media platforms like LinkedIn, and how to pitch and sell yourself. So these are all things that I've learned the hard way. This is not stuff that's come naturally to me. But what I found in that through the time I've been mentoring experts in their field, so those who I've been mentoring have either had just been starting out or they've had really successful practices and we're now ready to take them through to the million dollar plus mark, um, is that, that everyone's sort of got this similar challenges around really that identity the marketing strategy that goes with it, and then how do I sell myself as part of that. What I have found is unique though with women who are experts in their field is that it's not just about selling ourselves, but it's actually we've got a lot of other commitments. You know, most have families, kids, other things going on. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, around 60% of businesses in Australia are started by women. And so there's a lot that are coming out of corporate who are wanting to start up uh, their practice. Um, but sometimes their challenge is trying to make sure that it doesn't come across or get the support around them, that it doesn't look like it, it's a hobby. This is actually a practice. And the other thing I find is that sometimes we can underestimate just how much we have to sell. So what I find when I'm, I'm having these conversations is that one is that women often aren't paying themselves their super, their, um, or perhaps their tax. Uh, they're trying to work through their costs and trying to even pay themselves. And the reality is, is that 
If you're thinking about replacing, trying to replace an income that you were earning when you were in corporate, you actually need to earn about four times that to walk home with what you were getting when you were in a job. So we have to be able to sell ourselves so much more than what we would normally do. But the problem is we kind of feel like that's a bit hustle and a bit aggressive. And that, and how do we do that without feeling cocky or arrogant or uncomfortable doing that? And I even find when I'm working with women who are experts in their field too is that they'll say, oh, I just need to build more networks. I just need to feel more confident. But quite often the conversation is not around how much do I actually need to sell to grow this practice? What is the marketing strategy and the communication strategy that goes with that? And actually, who am I to even be able to do that? So what I do is I go really to the heart of who you are, make sure you've got the marketing and communication strategy. So that's not just social media is a big part of that, but what my obsession is, is making sure that every activity that you do has a really high return on investment so that will generate the income that you're trying to create. So it's about creating positioning as well as the um, personal connection and being able to get that growth. And so this program is called the Women with Influence Mentoring Program. It's put together based on the women I've been mentoring over the last four years. And now what I'm doing is bringing those people together because what I have learned over that time is that the people you have around you and that um, board of directors who support you are one of the biggest factors to your success and growth. It was Charles Dunbar who is a social anthropologist and he identified the numbers of the key metrics that um, have identified that those tribes that not only uh, survive but actually thrive and the numbers are 15, 150, 1500, 15,000. So when we say that, so 15 is the 15 people around you which is kind of like a board of directors that have the greatest success, uh, have greatest impact on your success. The 150 are the top 150 customers that you work with. The 1500 in this world is how many people are opening your communication when you send it out each week, so which is kind of like your newsletter, blogs, things like that. And 15,000 is your social media following. And so what I do in this program is it's a 12-month program. It's designed for you to be able to do three things. Number one is to get that board of directors around you, that 15 people, and then build the metrics around that that we talked about in Dunbar's metrics. So the second thing that we need to do is help you to achieve your income goal of 120000 per year. Now that may mean that maybe you're sort of halfway on, on track for that. Maybe you're earning 60000 a year. Then we're going to elevate it up to another 120 on top of that. Or maybe you're starting out and we're going to focus on getting that 120000 So the goals are 120000 per year in turnover getting your uh, tribe metrics around you. And the third thing we're going to do is you're going to write a book, believe it or not. So it's not going to be Encyclopedia Britannica. It's not going to be massive, but it's going to be the right book for you, for you and your practice to help you grow. So they're the three things that are the goal in that 12 months because they're the things that I've learned that really matter. And the other thing that matters is that you being able to do the work that you love, be paid what you're worth, and to be able to feel like you have impact and influence to be able to grow your practice. So if you would like to find out more, my suggestion is download the information from here. You'll see the program and all the IP that sits in that and that you're going to be learning throughout uh, the program. And uh, the way that it will work is that each month there'll be a one day uh, workshop and get together and it will be capped at 15. So we've got Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne. And the idea is, is for you to build that uh, board of directors around you <clears throat> and then to help you grow those metrics. Um, if you do have any questions, you are most welcome to contact us. And um, uh, before getting started, I really like to have a chat with you because this is not a done for you program. This is hard work, but I can tell you that the rewards come at the end. So I would love to chat with you soon and I look forward to hearing from you.